Good morning, Reverend. Good morning. How darling. are you doing? I'm doing well. I know we've we've woken we've woken you up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So far, I mean, just 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 to break the ice, how are preparations so far? I know that uh, you have your event coming up. I mean, we'll talk more about it. But how how are preparations going? Uh, by the grace of God, we are trying our best. Uh, mm. We are rehearsing, and as you said. Um, following up on promotions here and there and yeah then, uh, and when uh, the almighty uh, hit fm calls you then you have to, you have to respond yeah. yeah so by the grace of god everything is going well that is very good now there's one quite a, i should say it's a an interesting question but i would want to ask you please do like you have been a friend to lots of brands across and uh it's like in all of it, you're able to create that piece to be able to move around all of them. How are you able to do that? Um, one is the grace. Mm. When the grace of God is upon you, uh, and I try as much as possible also not to hold grudges here and there. I mean, you should know that human beings are human beings. Mm -hmm. And uh, people will hurt you. Yeah. And once they hurt you, uh, there should be a way to let go or you create a distance. Mm. So you always make sure that, I mean, yeah. you are cool with everybody. Yeah. And by the grace of God, I think that um, when God calls you, he also aligned you with people that will be of good uh, service to you. And when, he, when people of that when you get that kind of people, you have to cherish them mm. and respect them. Uh, don't just abuse the opportunities that they give to you. Okay. And when they, when you get that chance to you, you know also know that it's a burden mm. because uh, people will come for the concert. Okay. And if they come and they come and then you are doing things shabbily. Mm -hmm. nobody will want to come okay. the next time so it's a it's a burden upon you to always move a step further mm. and by the grace of god i think that when you look at the life of uh let me use uh, my brother katie as an example okay from day one he says that all these things uh, all the brands are at your disposal yeah but if i uh, from day one, I was not good. Uh, just one album. Yeah. I mean, mm. by the grace of God, I have six major albums. Wow. And every time we keep adding to it. Wow. That's so beautiful. And uh, for me, I, I, I say something. I It's the way you were able to keep each and every one and feel freely and comfortable to still move around every brand that you've created a relationship with mm. and that is so beautiful you have been doing music for how long uh professionally um uh, i'll say more than 30 years more than 30 more years. than 30 years wow because um i joined the choir mm -hmm. and then uh, you know icgc choir was a uh, a, a big music group mm -hmm. and then uh, I came out as a solo artist um, in okay I started recording around 2005 okay 2005 up to date right. so more professionally I came out as a, a, a solo artist Mm. More than 20 years. Wow. More than yeah, 20 years. But doing years. music is more than 30 years. Mm. Mm. Now, I ask that because I'm bringing you to something. <laughs> uh, don't worry. <laughs> I am free to... <laughs> you are free to speak. <laughs> yes. I mean, in all these years, uh -huh. Reverend, it is rumored that you are not, you're not married. You haven't settled. <laughs> yes, I haven't. But by the grace of God, we will do it. When? Uh, but, but I mean, before when, 
why has it taken you so long? Is there a reason? Oh, I don't think there's any reason. I think that uh, the focus. Mm. Um, <laughs> but, but Reverend, this is this 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 is one of the questions that when you are asked. <laughs> 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 Why have you made Reverend to reset again? Oh no! <laughs> he sat comfortably, but he has reset. <laughs> because, you so see, you're sitting. Yes, you know because <laughs> it demands a lot of thinking, and then you know. But but this is my my home, so I'm free to just uh, share. Yeah. You know, um, for us in life, uh, some things do happen, and then. Uh, you'd have no control over. Yeah. Uh, I was brought up by a single parent. Oh. It was my mother who took care of us. Mm. And uh, we've gone through a lot. I mean, not in terms of, say... Financially? You no, know, that okay. one was in the challenge. But, I mean, growing up without a father is something that... You will not want anybody to go through. Mm -hmm. So uh, I vow to myself, and I say this to the glory of God. Uh, may God, may, may the Father who took care of me, may his soul rest in peace. Mm. I don't share this story because um, sometimes you can hurt people. Mm. They will say, ah, today Bernard feels that He's somebody. So, so now he's he just identifying himself. So sometimes I don't talk about these things because mm. it, it, it doesn't help me. Mm. But here is my home, so I can share. Yeah. So based on this, I just decided that I will not take any child through this kind of challenge that I have faced in life. Mm. So it's a guiding principle that keeps me going. And also... When God placed his hand on me, it worsened the situation. Wow. Today, when I see a woman, I can see that this is a woman. woman. But some, about 25 years of my life, mm -hmm. I have not gone close to a So, yes, yeah, so it's all cool. Ah, so, yeah. Reverend, are you a virgin? Oh, I'm not a virgin now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a virgin. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm I mean, not a virgin. I, I, I ask that considering the nature of men, it's not to say that men are, but I mean, oh, if no, you no. are not a but virgin, you would, no, you know, no, I'm not a point. virgin, please. Okay, okay. Uh, before somebody would go and say, hey, I, I, I am not, I am, please, I am I'm, a virgin. Yeah, Reverend yeah, Bernard no, 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 that's please. the headline. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I have, uh, in secondary school, I was a, I was entertainment prefect. So you can, hey. uh, you can, I mean, I was a, I, I was a, sp a, sp a splinter at home uh, yeah, in the school. Mm. Uh, I was a utility player. I mm. used to keep the poles for the school. Mm. If we need a striker, I'll go and strike. So, um, I mean, you can, and the ladies, I mean, oh. I mean, women are the best people that you, they are so honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when they like something, they will go for it. They so, I mean, it. at least we did something. You I mean, something. you cannot <laughs> say that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have mm. a lot of secret admirers. So I, I had to ask so that those who are, you know, interested, they can also try their life. Oh, uh, I'm still single. Yeah, I, still single. I mean. I mean, but you're hoping my brother to... Nana Kwame knows, uh, Hagler knows, uh, I mean, Fly, Fly knows. knows, he's been testing the things. I mean, all of them they know, <laughs> including uh, Papa Nomo Gini Sikano, DJ Bedash, I'm a frost of your Gini So, you're they hoping you're hoping to settle down soon. Oh, by the grace of God, I think that now, I mean, uh. If I bring in a child to this world mm. by the grace of God, I'm sure, and I'm I'm convinced mm. that I could I can take good care of uh, my woman and my child. Wow, that's yeah. good. That's good. 
Now I'd like to find. Let's now zoom in into your music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Oh, I'll it is well. Say, it, it is well. well. It I is mean, well. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> but I mean, Reverend, um, per what? Uh, what would you say uh, made you want to venture into gospel music? Was it a calling? Um, was this just something you woke up and decided to, you know, do? As I said earlier, my my was a football. Okay. So I was, I mean, last time uh, I met my schoolmates and he was like, ah, Bernard, pa, we all thought that you were going to be a good um, footballer. footballer. Uh, but where, where from this music? Mm-hmm. But, you know, when God calls you, he equips you. Okay. And I think that this is where I found, um, I discovered my talent in singing mm-hmm. and then uh, in preaching the word. And I think that music goes far mm. uh-huh. okay. because whether you like it or not, music can enter you without your permission. So I think that with this dynamics, just God just uh, grabbed me and then yeah. we are running. That's good. I mean, uh, you know, I had zoomed into your music, but now some women have asked me to ask a question. <laughs> It's a few women. They just they just want to know so that they, they, I mean this one I know Bedash is behind all these things and her Doctor Hagler. But we are because, here with Bedash. No no no. <laughs> why why why? Yeah, it's it's, it's Hagler. Oh I know. No, he's, he's not. Typing. He's, he's, he's <laughs> the, the ladies said they want to know so that they know at least if they meet you they know how to also relate to you. They just want oh, to but know. people have been relating to me. We have, but uh-huh, we want so, to know your specs. Oh how. How <laughs> is it? Is it job application? How he needs? Be, no, but we want to know specs. The women want to so that they know that oh, then I'm eligible to be with Reverend. So we just want to know. Maybe you like them big. You like them slim, yes. fair, dark. You know, no, it's Why? So, I don't know if I saw no, Oh, she has to say, pastors have wives. <laughs> pastors have wives. You go ahead, go ahead. Thank you so much. My, thank you. Thank you, my support system. <laughs> <laughs> so for my specs in the end. Oh, I, 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 I think that um, mm. God has blessed us mm-hmm. as a nation. <laughs> as a nation, you know. <laughs> he has blessed us. Hey, you know. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You see, um, so we, 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 we have the women in all the sizes, mm-hmm. the fair ones, the dark ones, mm-hmm. the prompt ones, mm-hmm. the, uh, you, you know, to. oh, now I can see. <laughs> 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 now my eyes, <laughs> my, my eyes are wide open. open. Yeah. Okay. So when I see, I can see. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So by the grace of God, we, I mean, for women, I mean, as long as the person is a, uh, is born again and I mean deep thinker mm-hmm. for the f- physical things there, Amasa, yeah. it doesn't come so much. But you know, because today you have seen Dorina view mm-hmm. as a very pretty, beautiful woman. You walk five steps <laughs> past, you <laughs> meet I'm another. Angry. An beautiful upgrade. person. So, mm. I mean, I, I don't look up to physical ones. I believe that when the time is up, mm. our path will cross and then uh, things will happen. And right. then signs and wonders will also happen. Right. Mm. Right. At least we know for now. So if you are not born again and uh, you are not a deep thinker, then oh, I'm sorry you cannot roll with Reverend Bernard Amankwa. If you're just joining us this morning here on Daybreak is he's my guest, and uh, you can also watch us live on Facebook. Go on there, see fine gentlemen. Mm? Women, mm. come see fine gentlemen. Mm. Uh, I'm sure when you finish, I think you finish your DM will be full. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I appreciate all of them, I mean, by the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I mean, we we went into your music, and uh, you know, you told us more about. But uh, I went. So you you became born again, and that was when you decided to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. Um, uh, for 
is it that celebration of his grace that mm-hmm, you are talking mm-hmm. of? Um, or, yes, uh, I wanted to find out when you became born again. That was when you decided to start no, celebrating no, 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 or what? No. Okay. The celebration of his grace um, came up when I launched the album Presence on the same day. That was when uh, Celebration of His Grace was also commissioned. Okay. So it was 2007, 15th September. It was a Saturday, 15th September, 2007, wow. at the National Theatre. Mm. And the, the album was launched by Dr. Minsa Otabo. Mm. That was my, 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 my pastor. Okay. And uh, Celebration of His Grace mm-hmm. came up because I realized that I'm not the one supposed to be doing all this. And then uh, the, the song had also come out and the response, people were not identifying the song with the Ghanaian. Mm. And that was very intriguing that, hey, you can write a song and somebody will say, oh, it belongs to, uh, they say Kirk Franklin, they say Jay Moles, they say this, uh, they say that. So, um, one day I went somewhere mm. and I went to minister somewhere. When I finished ministry, I saw KSM mm. at that time. KSM show was very big. KSM was running towards me. He said, hey, come, 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 come. And I went, I saw. And I, I bowed and, sh- and then greeted him. Oh, uncle. He said, hey, I've been searching for you. Mm. And I said, why? I said, hey, I went to a place and they sang the song. Mm-hmm. And I was asking, who did this song? And they said, it's a, it's a, uh, they were debating it. Yeah, who sang it? And then one guy says, it's a Ghanaian. So it's you. Mm. Can I have you on my show? Right. And that was how come I got to uh, Thank God is Friday. Oh. And then after, when people got to know that the, this is what uh, a Ghanaian has done, I just... So, a lot of dynamics. Right. People will see you and they be, they will be happy. Others will also see you and then mm, they will sad. go like, mm-mm-mm-mm, they be. Right. They shouldn't be. <laughs> and I'm just sharing this for somebody to also be encouraged that mm. when you do a good thing, leave it to time. God will definitely expose it. Amen. There was uh, one radio station. I went to one radio station and I was standing there with uh, one of their presenters. And the guys the 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 guy played in the morning mm-hmm. and there was a lady who came in the afternoon so the lady came to the guy and he was asking the guy oh i want to play the song that you did in the uh, the morning you played in the morning uh, the holy are you lord mm. one of the uh, uh, the the song on the album uh, presence mm. holy are you lord he says i want to uh, play it this afternoon. I, I feel I have to play that song. And the guy said, okay, go on the, uh, uh, the, the desktop. Mm-hmm. The song is there. Holy are you, Lord. Mm. The girl went in and came back. He said, ah, the one there is a Ghanaian. The name is a Ghanaian. Ghanaian. And then, ah, the guy said, you go and come. So we just put it in and come back. Mm. And then the girl played the song in. And then we were standing now. So I was just standing there with the guy. I don't want to just mention it. Yeah. When the girl came back, he says, hey, I never knew. It was a Ghanaian. It was a Ghanaian who did the song. So the guy was just laughing. And he says, ah, Benada Mankwa. He says, yes. Then we were standing there. The guy said, ah, this is the Bernard Amankwa. The girl went 
Oh. She was so disappointed. Oh. Because she was expecting to a see white a white man. <laughs> and that was the last day I heard the song being played oh. on that station. On that uh, platform. So it's in two ways. Mm. People will see you. They will like and they you. will be happy that, hey, a Ghanaian has done this. Mm. People will also see you say, oh, I deal with there. Uh, as Santinia and Itika Kraka saying there. Koku and Yao Nami do. Bularity, as in the air, man. Reverend. Oh, but today, I mean, you're, celebrate, you're celebrating in the glorification of God. Sure. And for me, I'd like to know so from 2007 till now, how many years? 17. 17. 17 You've been years. doing this yeah. for the past 17 years. Yes. Wow. Mm. I mean, you've been doing this. Was the idea to make, was it to make money or it was just something to celebrate God or celebrate yourself? What was it all about? It's a platform for all hearts to just come and just for us to raise our hands and just to thank God for the grace that he has given to us just a day to just celebrate the grace of god because mm -hmm. i believe that um there are a lot of women but today you sit here you speak with excellence and then he asks me um, silent questions that uh, you have to think you know so these are it's, it's an exceptional grace mm. people like I mean, like, um, by now you should be slain and there's... But, you see, the grace, when the grace comes upon you, you do exploits. Mm. And when you are doing exploits, don't let it enter your head mm -hmm. that, oh, it is my strength that has got in me this. You need to know that there's a hand on your life. And that is the reason why Bernard Amankwa, I have identified that it is just that hand mm. that is upon my life and by the grace of God, people give towards the 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 the, the, the concert, mm. and whatever I do in the in the year, whatever whatever job I do, and the monies that I get, I just push it in there. So by the grace of God, by the time that that September gets there, I mean there will be something small to start, and then uh, by the grace of God, people like Katie. They've given me support from day one. Mm. Multimedia has been there for me and uh, other uh, uh, media, platform. media platforms. Mm. It's because they also believe that they need to celebrate the grace. Mm. So, Reverend, if I may ask. Another I, one. Oh. I hope this one, <laughs> Hagla, will be lenient. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you do aside music? It's a secret. <laughs> oh, Reverend. It's a secret. Are you a businessman? Yes, I'm a businessman. What kind of business do you do? I don't sell any uh, contraband goods, but I do business. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Reverend. But I mean, you know, with business, if I mean, if I don't know what you do, mm -hmm. how would I purchase you what you do? Customs. You have your... Yes, you know, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Ghana, uh -huh. in Ghana, sometimes you need to be very, 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 very secretive. Mm. Because today I'm sitting here talking to you. If I open up the business to you right now, mm -hmm. I'm sure if people go, hey, that's the reason why this guy is doing this. That's it. Then they will start from, from, from today. Mm. You become their prayer topic. <laughs> Not to support you, mm -hmm. but to destroy your business. So, by the grace of God, I'm doing business. And You're doing business. Yes. So I want to believe that that so that's is that same business you use to finance your finance your music. Uh, by the grace of God, I do use part of it, and then uh, I have people who support. believe in the ministry. Mm. Uh, people like the Honorable Atacha. Uh, Kate Kote, Papa Few, mm. uh, new professionals, uh, Mr. Omari, uh, may he so rest in peace. I mean, there have been so many people, uh, Reverend John Darkon, or I mean, a lot of people. Mm. I mean, the little that they can also part up with, they come in 
and by the grace of God, we just do the thing. Right. So that means you are not a, you are not part of those who are crying for sponsorship, considering the fact that you get support from um, some really good friends. You see, your focus will determine how far you will go because somebody's focus in doing this kind of concert it be different from my focus. Mm. My focus is to just bring people together for all of us to just to thank God. My focus is not about the monetary aspect. Okay. Uh, I, I think either three years ago or two years ago, I did it with zero sponsorship. Mm. Because by the grace of God, the business was able to yield Funded. some funds. Mm. So I was able to use it to support so uh, 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 it's not anything that we shouldn't be crying i think that when god calls you the provisions will always be there for you, for you. Okay. Uh, if you make it too hard on the people and then kweku is here mm. packaging mm -hmm. building a brand and you know by the grace of god you know, i remember one of the days i brought an artist on the platform mm. after a lot of the big 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 people who came for the program approached me say bernard don't dilute your platform know that you have catched a certain niche for yourself mm. so you see there are people who also see it as a hey, it's a platform that has been there for some time and there's a certain niche that mm. goes with it. Yeah. So we shouldn't go away from it. And uh, they're always there to support. I mean, it is not the, it is not the money. Mm. Even people coming there. It's enough. I mean, filling the National Theater and then raising their hands and then thanking God. It's enough. Right. It is enough. If you're jo just joining me here on Daybreak Hits, Reverend Bernard Amankwa is my guest here. We've been speaking a lot about himself and his also his concert, uh, Celebration of Grace concert. So, Reverend, this year's event, yes. who and who is performing? This year's event is uh, um, it's a peace concert. So, mm. a lot of peace messages will come in. Okay. Uh, uh, and also, why I have uh, David, the music box. Okay. Um, He's a, a, a great gospel musician. And uh, I have Selassie Brown, okay. who's also, who has some serious song. Uh, there's an Igbe, a Igbe song, the Emi De Bruta. Okay. I mean, I don't know, but I, I think Hagra will teach me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why, would, why would Hagra teach you? Uh, he, he, I think the wife is a. a, a oh. well, he has too bad the language. Yes. So, okay. uh, all right. All right. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and when is it happening and where? Uh, is this, I mean, the usual place, uh, the National Theatre of Ghana, mm. the prestigious National Theatre Theater. of Ghana. And uh, um, uh, the artists, uh, I have some choirs also coming in. Oh. The TY crew will mm. be there. And then uh, Pastor Roderick Ajakum and uh, La Famille, mm. they are also coming in. And then my team, uh, the Presence Band, will also be there. So okay. it's a it's a who uh, it's a whole package. Okay, so yeah. happening at the National Theatre on the yes. date, please. September twenty second. Twenty second September. Yes. Right at the National Theatre, and the time yes. it will be at uh, six p.m. Six p.m. Yeah. So yes, you heard it. Celebration of um, of Grace by Reverend Bernard Amankwa, twenty second of September mm. at um, five p.m. Yes, 5 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. at 6 the National Theatre. Uh, so let's go out in our numbers and let's support Coca. Mm. Yeah. You've been listening to Reverend. Yeah. Um, is there any question you'd like to ask? Your general impressions, everything about it, and then, of course, his concert as well. No, you know National Theatre is, is like my home. Mm. That's a place he's constantly at. Um, yeah. I mean, I've seen his setup. I've helped him. I've been part. I know what he's doing. He's spoken to me about sponsorship, and I've told him the same thing, that it is it is how the corporate Ghana sees gospel music mm. now. And mm. He should try and do it different. I think he's trying. He's, he's going there. 
that it is your audience the corporate Ghana wants. Mm. But what the gospel people do is, when you give them the sponsorship, they give you before and after. Mm. They tell you it's about the Holy Spirit. So you can't mm. penetrate or you can't <laughs> interact with the audience. So yeah. forgetting that, the corporate people who are giving the sponsorship, they're also Christians. Mm. So you want the person to write a report to his boss to say that, oh, the sponsorship there, we are getting there before, but they want to interact with your audience. Mm. And I think he is doing that. Um, right. 24 years um, yeah, and more. 17 years. 17 yes. years of doing music, years. the concert. The, the and concert. then the concert is 17 years. Yes. And 24 he um, years of, I mean, knowing his work and everything. I think he has what it takes and he knows what he's doing. Sometimes we assume we know better than who is doing it. But if you think you want to help, understand what the person is doing. Don't try to change it. Mm. And I'm happy he also realized it, that I was against trying to bring certain personalities. It's your show. Yeah. Don't try and bring a cloud to kill the brand you built. So, mm. And once it becomes a penetrating platform for people to come and grow themselves, a time will come you will not even have a show or audience. So... I think he's doing right. We need he needs our support, um, and it's financial, it's physical, and prayers. And with that, I think he'll be okay. Right. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Reverend, the way you're looking at my face. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, which of them, Mister Agla? Which of them, Reverend Coca? Uh, Koka, the, the Reverend, this one is for Koka. Uh, please help me oh, ask him. I am I'm ready. I'm so ready. I've been waiting okay, for it. Okay, Reverend, okay, please okay. help me I ask am, him. I am waiting for he it. He was trending over the week for walking out of a studio discussion. Uh, uh, when I deal with intellectual people, I'll so, do things intellectual. Uh, so we wanted to find to a out. Uh -huh. where the kind of people I'm dealing with were little-minded people. But so, don't you think it was disrespectful? I mean, you maybe you could I have just... You see, mm. when you deal with people whose mental IQ... Mm -hmm. are low they show low stuff i come to your studio we have a discussion i tell you i don't want this and then you bring a riff raft to come and distort what we are doing hey okay no let's go there i oh, come oh, to your oh, show oh. i tell you this is what i want okay i don't want this somebody sits on radio if i come and sit here and i call you a liar mm. or i call your host your your guest a liar and i'm expecting you to call the person to order, and you allow the person to go on without retracting, without any evidence of, uh, 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 okay, you have said A, B, C, D. This is the facts. This is the data. What you said was a liar. Mm. So retract. And I call them not to show my content because you are making money out of my content. You have not paid me. And this issue, they are going to hear from me. Mm. Ajima and, um, and Danlati. It is, it is a personal thing we are going to get into. So it's, it's, it's not done. Okay. I, I understand. You did what is, I came to your show and it is my trend that is paying you. And the trend, you are not giving me money. So why are you using my image to do? Do you know you can't use anybody's image in making money without a person's permission? Mm -hmm. I came on your show. You didn't pay me. Mm. We did a show. I told you the dynamics. I don't want A, B, C, D. Then the person comes to call me a liar on your show. And I ask you that if the person does not retract, I will withdraw. Because I have been on the show for almost an hour. Mm. The person came, uh, comes in 10 minutes to distract the show. And you couldn't call the person to order. But rather continue the show because you won't trend. How do you think? That is why the, the political space don't take us serious. Mm. Because whatever we do, we want trends and comic. Whilst we are talking about issues that affect us. Mm. You call somebody to say that he should come and distract me for a trend. Mm. And do you think it's maturity? So are you going to sue them? Oh, when it gets there, we'll get there. Those things are not things we need to discuss on radio. But, you, I mean, radio stations that are grown, you hear art on them. Mm. Radio stations that are mature, you see the kind of personalities that go there. If you're a radio station and what you want to do is to create trend and try to sabotage people and then later on come and beg them for favor, then I think your, your head has to be mm. examined. Mm. And I'm talking to Ajimai. Okay, that is I, his I, lifestyle. okay, so I I know that maybe you have that, but of course you also have uh, listeners. You also have people who are listening to you because of 
your submission and all that. But I don't you told, think don't you think you should apologize to your listeners or those who are listening to you based on what you were discussing no, but on the radio? I'm to you that we yeah. are having a discussion. Yeah. The discussion had gone. I understand. On, and somebody comes to the show. Yeah. To, so I can just walk in and come and call your your guests' names, and mm-hmm. you will not call me to order. So that's what I'm saying. That you, 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 dear, you let's take that you walked out on the presenter, the host, and the yes. other person. But I was just saying yeah, that. Don't I said you think it. I said that I will not be on the show if he doesn't allow the gentleman to retract. Mm, but don't you think you should apologize to the listeners? But I, I told mean, them mm. that. Because of what the guy did, I walk. Because how do you bring somebody whose IQ on what we are discussing is low? Mm. Okay, I get that. Um, I mean, we just wanted to find no, out. No, no, no. We see until until we get certain things serious. Mm. And I'll say this: watch the airspace. It is political. Mm. Mm-hmm. How many of our entertainment shows are discussing the issues that is in our manifesto? Mm. Mm. How many? It is everybody wants strength. So when the person comes and the person is not able to do what you want, how do we do it? We need to be able to digest what the person has said and ensure that we get our share of the common fund so that the things that has been promised mm. will be done. And that was what we are discussing. Okay. Then somebody who is selling... Uh, 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 no, 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 no. You wanted to discuss the issue, but you don't want the DT gritties. No, I, I have gotten that, but you cannot describe How the person How do you go to the barber and you tell them you like blade or you like machine? Yes, that's... Once but you are discussed, you have to go into We details. We have, but I don't want us to call anybody names, please. How do you do that? That yes. I come on your show and you plan that what you are going to do is cause a trend. Right. So um, thank you so much for um, clarifying all of that. We, but we don't want to use words on certain people or describe no, I'm using, them. I'm de- ah, but the, what he's selling is what I'm describing him. No, no. And that I don't know. But you, you, if he has a name, it's better to mention his name mm. rather than um, describing in, in a manner like that. Thank you so much for, I mean, clarifying issues for us. Reverend. So we are all set. I believe that uh, uh, with this from now till the, the 22nd, it's going to be more of a media tour and then, uh, um, you know, pushing the agenda of uh, the concert as well. Yes. We, we can only wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, we pray that uh, this event is successful as always. Amen. Um, is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? I just want to say that um, um, there's a quote that I want to just um live with uh, all of us for us to just ponder over right now a lot is going on Mm -hmm. uh, concerning the youth and then um, Dr. Martin Luther King says something Mm -hmm. he says that when when scientific power Mm -hmm. overrules moral power we end up producing guided missiles Mm. in the hands of misguided people Mm. today we could talk about trends a lot of people want to train so the, the 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 scientific power has given us a phone. The moral power will tell you this phone that you are holding, you can use it to send emails, information, you Mm -hmm. can just search to better your life. Yeah. But let's be mindful. People are just misusing the scientific power. And it is causing us a lot. Mm. Today, every day, you see somebody has sent this and it is creating a lot of mess. So I'm just speaking to my brothers and sisters. Please, the phone that you are holding, Mm. know that it has so much power either to make you or unmake you. Thank you so much, Reverend. Thank you so much for coming through this morning. And um, um, do we have a winner for our quick cash promotion? Right. Okay. So um, 
I'd like to say thank you to you, Reverend, and thank you for to everybody who made it on the show today with Coca and every other person. But of course, a very big one to the entire production team, Mr. Hagland and Akwame Labi, Fly Nima Boy, Fidelis, Paul, DJ Bradash, and I believe that we're all going to have a very big and good weekend. Let me say thank you to our sponsors as well. Betway, you always get way more with this. is Pits.